Hello coders, Microsoft just made a massive move at Build 2025, open sourcing parts of GitHub Copilot and the Windows subsystem for Linux. What does this mean for you and the future of coding? Let's dive into this game changer. If you're excited about AI coding and open source tech, hit that like button and subscribe for more tech videos. Let's get it started. So on May 20, as for today, Microsoft dropped two major updates. First, the GitHub Copilot chat extension for Visual Studio Code is now open source under MIT license. So now, as you can see, if you go in the Visual Studio Code here, they made it open source AI editor. And you see that we believe that the future of code editor should be open, open and powered by AI. So that's what they are doing here. So a GitHub Copilot chat extension, if you go directly over there, you can see that's the one you can directly install and you can chat it by free and you can integrate it and then why open source now you see that over the last few months we have observed shifts uh, in ai development that motivated us to transition our ai development in vs code from close to open source so this is how you can just read the documentation to feel aware about it and that really having a very good impact so that means you can fork modify and contribute on how copilot integrates with vs code the world's most popular code editor by so far and second the windows subsystem for linux or wsl is also now in fully open source on github so it's an answering a nine-year-old community request so and wsl lets you run linux natively on windows and now you can shape its future so you can create the catch so now here is that you can just go through on that and you can see how they it's just running so this is the mit license by which they are just capturing all the docs and now this is the open as open sl so wsl that one which is really go with that and you can go and understand and you can building and testing through it and this is now if you just see over here in wsl is now in public so you can fork it and you can use it so and the catch is that github copilot's ai models and cloud service remain paid so even those things are free so then the what is the service model is that it's gonna cost like around the costing you around 390 dollars uh, for pro, pro users per year and only the vs code integration is open source so this is how the catch is that so the Visual Studio Code part is just getting the open source. So what I'm talking about is the that one. So you can just go and make integrate your similar text editor. You see that code editor and that is the chat extension where you can really use that one. So here in my Visual Studio Code, if you can see here, you can see I have Copilot embedded. And as you can see, now I need to upgrade to just to view in my pro user shape as it just, uh, you see, there's the same thing going to happen. I need to pay to upgrade all of the things. But the best part is that I can integrate to create my own platform. That is the catch over here. So this is a really big deal once you're going through. And uh, the, the question is that if you are doing a lot of things about that, now why Microsoft is just doing those things right so this is a very tricky question about that and the part is that uh, for microsoft strategy is all about empowering developers while staying ahead in the ai race and here's the breakdown is that visual studio code is used by millions by open sourcing copilots integration microsoft makes uh, it to go to platform for AI driven coding outpacing competitors like cursor and also projects like TypeScript and Visual Studio Code thrived because of open source communities with the WSL now open developers can fix bugs and add features saving Microsoft resources especially after recent layoffs and Microsoft's new autonomous coding agent and a model context protocol support position copilot as the backbone of AI driven development open sourcing key components invite developers to build on their ecosystem and what is that what it means for coders right and for developers this is a gold mine and here is how it impacts you as coder so what you can do you can customize the copilot fork the copilot chat extension and add your own ai models or features in the devs and startups can now create tailored coding tools without starting from scratch and contribute to wsl github repo to improve linux on windows performance one gpu support or new desktop you can help make it happen and then open source means faster bug fix and no hidden vulnerabilities unlike some closed source tools and also you don't need billions to compete build your own ai tools ai coding tools using microsoft's code through replicating their code ai is still a challenge and the downside is that copilot's cloud service is still a paid product so a fully free ai coding assistant isn't 
periods. Now, here's the bigger picture. So, Microsoft playing the long game by open sourcing Copilot's integration and WSL. They are betting on developers to make those tools even better while keeping their cloud-based Copilot service as the cash now. With 15 million Copilot users and AI agents on the rise, Microsoft setting the stage for a future where coding is as seamless as chatting with AI. This move could shake up the AI coding market. Startups like Cursor, valued at 9 billion, face new pressure as developers gain access to Microsoft open source code. The AI coding bubble might just burst or evolve into something even bigger. And now, if you want to get involved on that, so if you're ready to jump in head to the github copilot chat and wsl repos on github links it will be in the description start forking coding and maybe even build the next big ai tool the possibilities are endless now what do you think of microsoft open source move genius strategy or something else drop your thoughts in the comments and let's get the conversation going if you found this breakdown helpful give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell for more tech updates and i'm from reactivity.com and i'll see you in the next one